hello everyone i pray everyone is having a blessed day so far as always i thank god uh, for waking me you up and our loved ones up this morning i just thank him for all that he is doing and that he he'll do and he's in the process of doing because god is worthy he's worthy to be praised i'm just in awe with all the things that he is doing uh for everyone a lot of you spouses um has started coming around and uh god is showing uh that he was he had his hands on it all the time and i just glorify god glorify god for that i'm i'm up here dusting grass off of uh the socks i have on i just cut my backyard um so um well, it's a huge backyard but i thank god for giving me the strength to be able to do it um on my own because my husband is uh he's allergic to grass and we used to pay somebody to cut our grass and then um two years ago we got a mower and he would still try to get out here and cut the grass because he wouldn't allow me to do it uh, because he didn't think I knew what I was doing but I used to cut grass as a little girl with my brother when he had his lawn care so it's nothing to me I just don't like bugs and I trust me if it's a spider if a spider get on me I'm gonna be running like crazy because I don't like spiders I don't like bugs I don't like any of that stuff uh, so you know God had put it in my heart um, last year to start doing it uh, to cut the grass because I could have my nephews do it I can have my brothers do it because you know they they always cater to the uh, women of our family and uh, make sure that we're not doing anything that they can do but God told me don't call on them uh, my nephew he does come and um, do the uh, trimming of the yard which my husband he'll uh, start doing that uh, himself again uh, because he does it better than my nephew. I love my nephew to death, but it's something about trimming up your yard that makes it look so nice. Um, and so this year, uh, I am going to be uh, doing a lot more of, uh, as God is calling me to do stuff. And it's part of <clears throat> your relationship with God is trusting him for all things even when it doesn't look like he's working you have to trust him but you also have to understand that god cannot work when you're working and what i mean by working is you're constantly feeling like you need to text your spouse you're constantly feeling like you need to call your spouse you're constantly need to feel like you need to watch his facebook page his youtube page his whatever he has his instagram page you feel like you need that and you absolutely don't and people might convince you, out of sight, out of mind. That's a lie. That's a, truly a lie. Out of sight means that God can work. Hands off mean God can work. Put your heart towards God. Put your mind towards God. And I know it is so hard for a lot of you guys to do. But God said, trust in me with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding. And acknowledge him in all your ways. And he will make your path straight. And then you got to understand that God has reconciled all things back to him at the cross. And the reason why you come into a place where you're standing uh, for your marriage. Because you've forgotten that God needs to be in the midst of everything you do whether it's concerning your marriage whether it's concerning raising your kids your finances making decisions on purchasing items god need to be in every detail of your life so that the enemy can't get a foothold in once the enemy get a foothold in it is truly hard uh to get him out because now you're gonna have to go to warfare battles uh resisting the negativity of the enemy the thoughts of the enemy the darts that he can constantly pierce you with um what he presents to you uh in your face it ain't always what it seems like but that's how he's the deceiver oh he's the father of lies and that's how he deceives god's children he gets them to to stop uh having faith and uh he gets them uh to 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 to, to kind of like stop trusting in god you start having to have having faith but you're no longer operating in faith because now you're in fear and, and you're worrying and that's that's not God. God, you don't need to stress. You don't need to worry with God. God works all things together for your good. He is faithful to his promise and he loves us. And so he just wants that intimacy with you to know that, you know what? 
it's time for his wife to come back home because he have acknowledged me in all his ways. He's putting me first. He's the, I'm the first person on his heart uh, when he wakes up. I'm the last person on his heart when he goes to sleep. So now let me bring his wife back to you. So so vice versa to uh, my sisters. Like when you truly are in awe with God and you love Him and you say, okay, I, I look, God, I don't care what my spouse is over there doing. I don't care what so and so say. I don't care what it look like. I am going to have a relationship with you. I'm going to rely on you. I'm going to trust in you. And I'm going to be faithful to you no matter what. God says he knows the plans that he has for you. Plans for you to prosper and not to harm you. He also says that he, he, he will keep you in perfect peace. He also says he knew you when he formed you in your mother's womb. So it wasn't by coincidence that you're going through this today. God knew that you would go through this today. And he also had the plan that will pull you out of this that will cause you to have victory in everything that you're going through and that is really trusting in him relying on him and understanding that it's not completely about your marriage because can't no other person have your spouse you can allow somebody else to have your spouse because you're not in obedience to God. You're not following him. You're not acknowledging him. You're so focused on what you want that you can't even hear what God is telling you. You can't even see what God is doing because you're so focused on what you want. And so when you start to let go completely, and that's a hard thing to do. And you can see God move. You ain't got to always get a confirmation. You ain't always got to hear from somebody. You ain't always got to encourage, hear some, have somebody encourage you. Sometimes you got to encourage yourself in the word and then worship and pray. Worship is to worship God. He inhabits the praises of his people. So when you're worshiping God, God is moving. Angels are moving on your behalf and angels are worshiping right along with you. You have angels assigned to you, assigned to your children, assigned to your spouse, assigned to every last one of your loved ones. You have harvesting angels. You have ministering angels. You have warned angels. You have the kingdom of God at hand to war on your behalf, to retrieve all that is yours. You have all you need in him. You have the healing of the heart that he can only give to you. He, you have the renewing of the mind that you only can get through his word and the fellowship in, and allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you and to teach you. God has a purpose and a plan for every last one of us. And trust me, it ain't easy when you doing what you're supposed to do. That's when the enemy attacks you the most. That's when the enemy tries to hit you with everything he get, can to try to get you to turn back from the promise of God, from what God has in store for you. Don't give up. Don't give up having a relationship with God. Don't give up having the wealth of, of the wicked that is laid up for you. Don't give up having prosperity of health, love, peace, joy, faithfulness, gentleness, all the fruits of the spirit don't give up operating in your authority because something seems too hard for you it was hard for jesus to die on that cross for us but he did it because it's unconditional love and wanting to to for us to have all the joy the peace the love the faithfulness the gentleness all that he has to offer for us and he did it by the sacrifices on the cross. And one thing you got to understand about Jesus. Jesus ain't have to beg his father. When he, when he told Lazarus to come forth and rise, he didn't say, God, I, I please, Lord, call, let Lazarus rise. Please, Lord. He don't have to, you don't have to beg God for not one thing. But what you do have to do is get in obedience with, him, with God. All Jesus said. It's Father, I know that you hear me when I when I when I pray. And when he spoke those words, he told him to come forth. And he came forth. Everything that had Lazarus bound in the tomb, it had to, to be removed. Because he 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 rose when Jesus spoke the word. Sometimes you just have to speak the word of God over your life. You have to speak the word of God.
and you have to trust him. I'm up here doing all this fidgeting because, you know, like when you cut grass, some of the hair be on your shirt, and I'm thinking it's bugs, and I, I told you I don't like bugs, and he's been heebie-jeebies. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I'm still doing what I need to do. Uh, but yeah, you, uh, you just gotta trust God no matter what. Uh, even when it looks like it's not working, when it looks like it's at its worst, you just don't even know that God's hand is all on that. He's in the midst of that, and he's working all things together for you. And um, you're going to see the victory because it's already given unto you. You got angels fighting on your behalf when you sit up there and you speak the word of God. When you sit up there and you declare and decree and the authority that you have been given. He said, when you call those things that are not as though they are, call your wife a kingdom wife, a kingdom spouse. Uh, believe that God has already renewed their minds and transformed their mind into him. Because here's the thing. You can pray all day for your spouse, to, for God to bring your spouse back. And here's the thing. If you bring them back the way that they are, it's not it's not uh going to work and god don't do anything incomplete but you're so impatient a lot of you that you just won't won't want what you want but god says nah okay you know what i'll let the enemy go ahead and deceive you so that you can you can be broken from that and then when you are broken by the enemy because he's deceived you and he done gave you this false start because God don't get anything false. Anything that God give is whole, it's complete, and it's done in him. He don't do any unfinished work. God perfects everything that he does. So when he brings your spouse back and he is in it, your spouse is going to be humble. He's going to um, be open or she's going to be open to everything that that uh, God has put into you. And you'll be able to start to minister to them. But you can't forget about God uh, when he brings them back into the home. You have to really, truly uh, trust God uh, in everything and keep him in everything. Pray daily for you and your spouse. Pray daily uh, for him to continue to strengthen you and, because God keeps all things together. He, he is the glue that holds everything together. He is the, he is the strength. He's the strong tower. He is uh, the sure foundation that will not crumble. And so that is what you need from God. You need him to be a sure foundation for you before he can even be a sure foundation for your spouse or even uh, your, uh, your, your marriage. He needs to be that for you first and foremost. And you need to allow him to be that. And you need to uh, trust in him no matter what it looks like, no matter what you feel. Because he's worked all things together for your good. Not some, but all uh, things together uh, for your good. You know, birds and stuff. These people got a, a bird feeder over there. Um, and I'm like, I don't want y'all over here. I, sorry, bad enough. I got to deal with the the, um, the geese and stuff. And I just usually let my, my uh, Yorkie and my Shorkie out here. And they just chase them out of the yard. Because I don't want all these stuff. They poop in my yard. Uh, and then I got the neighbor's dogs over there that just gets on my nerves. They just bark all the time. Just barking. I, it's, it's enough I get my own dogs barking. But these dogs, they just be barking for no reason. <clears throat> they barking at the birds. What you going to do with the birds? The birds ain't even going to go nowhere. You can't even do nothing with the birds. I mean, they, as soon as you try to get them, they're going to fly. This is, and they old dogs. And then they attack other people's dogs. They shall see them. So this, is what, this is what I deal with. If my dogs come out, this is what they doing. Every time. The other one don't get up on the fence. He just sits behind. I don't know if they girls or boys or whatever. They just sit behind each other and kind of like bark. And this, it is what it is. But they just a distraction right now. They just get on my nerves with all that barking in the birds too. Um, with all they tweeting. I like the birds, but I don't like so many. And they're all over there. Um, and my neighbors staying over there. The, um, they're in those bushes and stuff over there where my neighbor's yard is. My husband butchered our tree last year. And I just got to pull it out. Just get rid of it. Because it's just not blossoming like it used to and it smells so good he called himself trying to trim the tree and just destroyed it it was so pretty but anyway back to me uh talking about god i just got a little distracted um i, I just 
I just want you guys to stay encouraged and, and understand that you don't do things in your own strength. And then when you're doing things in your own strength, God is not at work. God is at rest when you work. When you're at rest, God is working. And being at rest is saying, okay, God, I surrender it all to you. I trust you. So I'm going to allow you to do what you, you need to do. Uh, you said that you, you will fight my battle for me. All I have to do is hold my peace. You said you will perfect all things that is concerning me. You also told me that no weapon formed against me will prosper. You said what you join together, let no men separate. So here's the angels. They're operating on that behalf. Oh, she said it. He said it. He said what a God joined. He's, he's using his words. You got to think about the angel. When the angel, uh, when Daniel was praying uh, for 21 uh, days, and uh, the, uh, he said he, he, he came for his words, but the prince of Persia, the devil, uh, he held him up, and then he had to uh, call for reinforcement. Michael, okay, these are archangels, and so they have the war on their behalf, but he also said they was going back to war. And so the enemy tries to hold up your prayers. He tries to block your prayers. That's what he tries to do. And so... You, you got to understand that sometimes you, when you don't see things, you need to ask God, God, what is it? What is it that I'm missing? What is it that you need me to do? What is it uh, that I'm not seeing? And allow God to show you uh, so that you can, um, you can know what to pray for. Because God works through your prayers. He works through you. He works through, through uh, his words and you unleashing them into the atmosphere. That's how God works. He works through your praises. He works through your honoring him. That's how he works. And uh, it might seem hard. It might seem hard. But it's really just learning that life ain't easy. And even with this wall, it's easier to do wrong and do the opposite of what God wants you to do than it is to do his will. And that's because the devil knows that the the uh the plan and the purpose that God has for you. And he doesn't want you to walk into that. He doesn't want you to understand who you are in Christ. Because once you understand who you are in Christ, then he no longer has no power over you. And even with your spouse. When you learn who you are, then you can pray that God brings him in, your, her or him, whoever it is that you're, you know, you have a husband standing or a wife standing, your husband standing for your wife or a wife standing for your husband. That's when you can call those things that be not as though they are because you don't came into your, your knowing of who you are in Christ, your power and your authority, your anointing is ready to move, uh, the anointing is ready to move on your behalf and destroy the yoke of bondage to set the captives free, uh, uh, to be a light of who uh, Christ is is always is when you become who you are in him and so you can do all things through christ who strengthens you he tell you that and um you just have to stay encouraged you know you have to stay, even when you don't you, look god is the author and the finisher of our faith he needs you to have faith. He said faith is now, not later. Faith is now. So you have to have faith to him right now in order for God to move. He can't move in the unknown. The un uh, I mean, he can't move in, in the doubt. He can't move in the worry. He can't move in the stress. He can't move when you're trying to do things. The guy's like, okay, well, I'll, I'll tell you what. Go ahead and keep on making a mess of things. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to wait. And I'm going to rest. And when you're ready for me to pick it up, you go into rest. And let me do it. So, yeah, I, um, I thank you for just uh, in tuning into my video. My sister sending me texts. So I just got out of my way. I'm trying to finish my video so I can finish up here doing my yard work. But I thank you guys for tuning in. And I just pray that God continues to bless you and strengthen you all and your walk with him more than anything. Because um, it's all about him. It's all about him. Because he, he he reconciles all things back to him. He redeems everything. And he also re, he also returns sevenfold. He said, how can you, you know, it's like this. How can you fight the strong man unless first he, he's bound? You can't fight a battle with an enemy that's not bound. How do you do that to the power of God that working through you? It's just so many things that I, I need to really just release to y'all. I just, I wouldn't even plan on doing a video for this long talking to y'all because I just wanted to encourage y'all a little bit because I got some things that I'm going to release to y'all and uh, it will bless you. 
and I just thank God for the wisdom that he continues to pull her into me. So I will be doing another video uh, later on this week. But y'all guys, y'all have a blessed day because I can just keep on going on and talking about God. I don't even need a, uh, the Bible because the word is in me. And that's how you want to be the word to be in you uh, so that you can, it can just flow out, just flow out of you uh, and pour out to other people. And I just thank God uh, for his wisdom and continue to build me in him. I'm just so grateful uh, for what he's calling me to do. And um, pretty soon I'll have all my stuff on here. Uh, I've already, my ministry name, I'm, 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 I'm I'm so grateful uh, to re be able to reveal it in my next video because it's coming. Um, he's gave it to me. It's just so many things uh, with t-shirts. He's about to have um, me and, and a few ladies of the groups will start doing it first. And then as I, um, as God lead me to add everybody else into it, uh, then I'll do it. But God has like literally been singling people out uh, to be part of the um, the board of the ministry uh, that God has called me to do. Because those some of the ladies in particular, they have learned the humbling of their self and trusting in Christ, even when it doesn't look good for them or um, things is not uh, going the way they are. They're, they're learning to heed to the Holy Spirit and um, that's what it's about. It's like heeding to the Holy Spirit. So I look forward uh, to just releasing a lot of things that God has been doing with me. I'm so grateful to God for each and every last one of you guys. And I just pray that your day is blessed and that God continues to strengthen you and bless you and prosper you in everything that you do and that he'll continue to pour out his wisdom among you and also among your loved ones and even uh, your children. Uh, and, and I just pray that all, um, all, um, strongholds are broken off of your life and every demonic spirit that will try to mess with your self will that the Kayla Bondrosha the angels will bound bind them up and release you so that into the kingdom of God so that you can have a lightness to walk your walk in him so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank and glorify you for this day, Lord. I thank you for each and every follower, God. Lord, I thank you for pouring out your anointing over them, God. And pouring out your wisdom over them, God, so that they can be pour out uh, the candidates sanduru shabakata sanduru to others ikayela bonduru shalora thank you for meeting every last one of their needs supplying every one of their needs lord strengthen them to atare kinduru shabakayele konduru shabakata to go god they send the kete the sakonduru shamari onduru shabakata send it for them to walk boldly and who you call them to be god i take kindidi bonduru shatara de dix in tarkayela bonduru shabata ne nanduru shatare kietur lord i thank Thank you, Andurusha Mane Andurusha, for all things that you have reconciled back to you, God. I thank you for your finished work. I thank you that it's complete, and I thank you, Andurusha Babakaya, for the wisdom that you continue to pour out among your children, God. I thank you that you Andurusha Badiyete Kandurusha Takaya La Kandurupa Eba Tariyete Kandurusha Bahariyam. Your wisdom to everyone, Lord. I thank you for, this, for perfecting everything that concerns your children. And in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Y'all have a blessed day. Y'all stay encouraged with God. He is working all things together for our good. He is faithful to his promises. Trust him no matter what. I look forward to uh, releasing some um, more wisdom to you uh, that you can um, pretty much send out. And if you guys don't have a prayer wall, me and my ladies what we did uh was and one of my ladies uh who's out who uh god has really been uh drawn her to me uh to to do some things with her um she uh I had already had a prayer wall, but then God put in her spirit to take a picture of you and your family. Uh, we all uh, did it. I believe all of us did it. Whoever did, and that's on them if they didn't. But we took the picture, and I, um, I'll i show you my prayer wall um, one day. I'll just do a video in my closet uh, where my prayer wall is. And I put the picture of me, my husband, and our girls on my wedding day in the middle of my prayer wall. And then I put all the scriptures that I um, pray according to on that wall. It's a lot of scriptures. And um, if you want those um, 
those uh, scriptures that I have it's like 22 pages of them uh, just send me an email and I'll be happy uh, to send that that those pages where you can just print them out yourself and just put them on your wall and just pray and and, and trust God and I, I'll show you guys uh, my prayer wall probably uh, the next video I'll do I'll show you my prayer wall uh, and so it, it, it's God is just using us in such a way, and I just love how He uh, mends uh, ladies together in the group. I've had uh, people that I pray with, and I no longer pray with them, but I still uh, pray for them. Uh, not everybody is meant to go forth with you, not everybody is meant to be a part of. Uh, the plan that God has for your life and what he's doing because maybe he has a plan for them to be uh, with somebody else or to do something on their own I don't know I just pray God bless them and he keep them and I thank God for every person that I have had interaction with and that um, I have um, met uh, it is amazing to me um, I, I love the different cultures of people. I'm, I'm a, a person that love in general. And so I just thank God for that. But uh, I keep on going on. I need to get this yard work done because it is, look at my Fitbit. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. And I've been out here since 8.30 this morning. And I, I, I still got half of my front yard to cut. And I need to get in my flower bed. So today is going to be a day of getting my yard together, preparing for the summer. So God bless y'all. Be encouraged. Keep keep yourself busy. Just do things to keep your mind uh, from um, being idle and allowing the enemy to to influence you. But trust God. I love y'all with the love of Christ. I love y'all to life. Uh, I pray God to continue to to strengthen every last one. And God bless and have a good rest of your day and rest of your week until I see you again. God bless.